Hello gorgeous, welcome back to my channel, or hello if you're new, and if you are new, don't forget to click that subscribe button to join my YouTube family and the bell to be notified every single time I do upload. To make an outfit look amazing, you have to start with your undergarments. And I already did a whole video around bras that every woman needs in their closet, so I thought today I would do a whole video around underwear that every woman needs in their closet. Your undergarments, like I said, are super essential, in particular your underwear. Find the right type of underwear is not only going to make you feel good and feel sexy, but having the wrong underwear is going to make you feel discomfort all day long and we do not want that. There are many different styles and designs to underwear and a lot of them are designed for different occasions and different functions and as well as different clothing. So a lot of the times the differences in underwear for woman underwear is the amount of cheek that will be showing. So I'm going to share with you all of the different styles that I think that you need in your closet. You guys know I like to talk about a lot of different topics some that might be a little bit more uncomfortable majority of us are women here and I feel like these videos can always help a sister out I hope you guys enjoy it thumbs it up if you do I will also link my Instagram down below if you guys want to follow me on there and as well as my Poshmark closet and my mugs if you want to pick anything up the links like I said will be in the description box but on that note let's just jump into all the underwears that you need in your closet <laughs> first one we're gonna talk about is the beginning bikini underwear. Bikini underwear I feel like is the basic type of underwear that all of us kind of start off with. The bikini underwear is similar to a brief but without as much coverage. The waistband typically sits three inches below your waist and it does have high cuts on the leg holes. Bikini underwear come in a variety of different fabrics whether it's cotton, microfiber, or nylon. They also come in more delicate fabrics whether it's lace or kind of like mesh and you can wear a bikini underwear anywhere whether it's from your jeans to a skirt. And that leads me to underwear number two, and that is the thong. And I feel like a lot of women start to get into more of the thongs once they go through puberty, once they're in high school, I'd say, or college. That is the time when a lot of us transition to a thong underwear. They are made for super minimal coverage. Of course, your bottom is not gonna be covered like the bikini underwear. And they are designed to be made to avoid panty lines. And I feel like when I started getting into that route, that was the reason why I wanted to wear them. Yoga pants and leggings were so in, and when you would wear those bikini underwears, you would see the lines. So the thong was created in order to avoid any panty lines. It sits about three inches below your waist, though you can find thongs that are gonna be more high-waisted. They come in a variety of different fabrics, whether that's cotton or lace, but I personally recommend wearing cotton underwear. It is just said to be better for the girl parts down there. And as well as if you're ever scared about odors down there, I definitely recommend going for cotton just because cotton is a more breathable material. I mentioned this in a bunch of different videos when it comes to like how to smell good all day long. I've done videos on that and I always recommend going for a cotton underwear. So wearing thongs are perfect for wearing form-fitting outfits, whether that's a bodycon dress or tights or leggings leggings or bodycon skirts. So anything that's very form-fitting and very tight and kind of thinner material, I personally would want to go for the thong so that you don't see any visible panty lines and I find those work perfect. Now moving on to underwear number three and it's similar to the thong and I feel like it's the next level to even more minimal coverage and that is the g-string. These types of underwear have the least amount of coverage. If you're going for the no underwear look or your outfit just like shows panty lines no matter what, this is a better option to go for because like I said, this is going to give you like the no underwear look with still having a little bit of coverage in the girl parts. These underwears are great, of course, for any times you want to avoid any panty lines. So whether that is bodycon dresses or tights, I don't find these the most comfortable when it comes to jeans. And of course, through jeans, you can't really see underwear lines for the most part, unless they are like really thin jeggings. But the typical jean, I find that these aren't the most comfortable and I find wearing a more coveraged underwear is more comfortable 
when pairing jeans with your underwear. Now I'm gonna talk about underwear number four and that is the brief. These types of underwear are great for flowy skirts or jeans. If you're wearing something really fitted and tight, I would say avoid these because you're definitely gonna see panty lines. These type of underwears provide a ton of coverage for the front and as well as the back. They are designed to be comfortable and I feel like every woman needs a good brief in their underwear drawer. Sometimes, you know, you don't wanna go for that thong option or that bikini option. You wanna go for full on comfort and these are so comfortable. They come in a variety of different rises. So you can't get low rise, mid rise, high rise underwear. It's really up to personal preference. I personally recently have been loving going for the more higher rise underwear, especially since everything is high waisted. We have high waisted jeans, high waisted skirts. It also gives you a little bit more coverage in the tummy area on the lower belly and it really just sucks everything in. So personally, I like to go for a more high rise cut, but of course, if you're wearing something low rise, you want to steer clear of that and you want to go for a more low rise cut. But I think you can have also a different variety of different cuts in your underwear drawer because that will save your life. It's just really going to go with different types of clothing. The most common type of fabrics for these types of underwear is cotton, nylon, and microfiber. And like I said, I personally like to go for cotton just because it is the most breathable material and also less likely to lead to odors down there. Moving on to underwear number five, and that is the boy short. So this was actually designed from looking at men's underwear and they designed the boy short for women. And and I find these also extremely comfortable. When I'm also on the time of the month, I personally like to wear briefs and boy shorts just because I find them the most comfortable and I want coverage during that time. And I think those are the types of underwears that I definitely always go for. You can wear boy shorts with medium to high rise jeans. They're really also gonna help suck you in. And as well as it's great for skirts, for any short dresses or skirts. When I'm wearing something like a skirt or a dress, and it's flowy I like to go for the boy short just because you know if you have a little accident and something happens where your skirt blows up or it's windy or something you're covered because you have full coverage and it's kind of like you're wearing little booty shorts underneath so I always like to wear these type of underwears when wearing anything flowy whether that is dresses or skirts next is underwear number six and that is the control brief the control brief is the exact same as a brief but it has more of shapewear um, features to it. So this style of underwear is going to create a smooth silhouette, especially near the abdomen area. So it's really going to help suck it in. So if you want kind of like a underwear option, but you want a function of shapewear, then these are the underwear to go for. And I feel like every woman needs this in their closet, especially for particular outfits. They sit really high on the waist, just going right underneath the belly button. And there are also styles that go even higher than this. So it really just depends. So it's just gonna suck everything in, like I said, and it's gonna give you that smooth silhouette. These can also be worn with form-fitting dresses or leggings or anything tight, because it's gonna give you that smooth silhouette and it's just gonna suck everything in while also giving you that coverage for your underwear. Underwear number seven is seamless underwear. So you can get seamless underwear in the basic bikini and you can also get it in a thong form and this is just gonna really ensure that you see no lines. So if you're just really worried about lines, then even buying a thong and buying a seamless thong is gonna be essential and really gonna help with that. They are also, I find, very comfortable. So I like to wear, I like to also always have a seamless version of of underwear in my underwear drawer just because it's really gonna help avoid panty lines and I feel like that is the number one problem when it comes to underwear and outfits is just making sure that you feel comfortable all day long but you're also not showing any visible panty lines and the last pair of underwear that I think every woman needs in her closet are hipster underwear hipsters are low-waisted but they provide wider coverage on the side and they are great to wear with pants and as well as low rise jeans. And it's also gonna give you that comfort and you're gonna feel great in them all day long. So those are all of the types of underwears that I think every woman needs in her closet. I think it is essential to find the right pair of underwear because that is what's gonna start your outfit and you wanna make sure that you feel comfortable in it all day long and as well as it provides you the coverage you want while avoiding the panty lines. Because of course, if you're wearing something really form fitted, you don't wanna see those visible panty lines. It kind of 
of just wrecks an outfit. I don't know if that's just me. Let me know if you guys agree, but I just feel like it just ruins the outfit. But you also want to have different types of underwear for different occasions. Sometimes you don't want to wear that thong and sometimes you don't want to wear that bikini or that brief. So it really just depends on the outfit that you're going for. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thumbs it up if you did. Share if it helped you out. I will link the bras that every girl needs in her closet down below for you guys to check out. Don't forget to click the subscribe button to join my YouTube family. It means so much to me and as well as the bell to be notified every single time I upload, which is every single week. But on that note, I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye!